Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. It's time for us to uh, continue with Not Going Out, Series 4, Episode 1, so titled Drugs. Interesting to see how that pops up in this series. Um, also, I would just like to let everyone know that today is my granddad's 82nd birthday, so if you'd like to leave him a happy birthday, comment in the comment section of this video, feel free, I will definitely pass it on. I've put a post on the YouTube community tab and all messages will be passed on or shown to him next time I see him. Uh, so, yeah, obviously, because it's Wednesday night, my grandma will be visiting me tomorrow before she goes shopping with my mom, and she loves watching these not going out reactions. So that's why I always do these on Wednesdays now, to make sure that there is a new episode for her when she comes down. So let's get into it. Where are you going? It's a business thing. This time of night. I know times are hard, but what exactly are you doing to earn money nowadays, Lucy? <laughs> ho, ho, ho. All right, I heard you the first time. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the uh, the uh, the joke in the episode where he's making Christmas crackers and he says, um, "Why was Santa's little helper a, a, a prostitute or something? She was a ho 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 with low elf esteem." <laughs> you remember I'm that? Catching an overnight train to a conference, so you're on your own for a couple of days. Try to behave like a human adult. I haven't got time to lay down a newspaper. <laughs> I can be civilized. I might have an evening of blues and jazz. Dig out the old seven inches. <laughs> By blues and jazz, I'm guessing you mean blue movies and jazz magazines? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and by dig out the old set. Got it. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> hi. Oh, hi, Daisy. Um, Lee, can you get me Dad's nail gun? She's a bit dippy, but she deserves the right to live. <laughs> I'm joking. Of course I'll shoot her. Thank you for lending it to me, Lucy. <laughs> That's OK. What do you need it for? Well, loads of DIY things, plus that garden sculpture that Tim bought keeps collapsing. Your garden sculpture? Oh, you know, what's it called? Um, giant Jenga? <laughs> Thank you. Right. I'm not even going to ask. I a dash and parked on a speed hump. I know it's not illegal, but it always makes me really nervous, like it might shrug me off. <laughs> what? I hope she's going to be all right with that nail gun. <laughs> Why is she doing the DIY, anyway? My brother's not exactly a handyman, is he? I don't know. He's handy if you need advice on scatter cushions or tips on how to arrange a flower display. <laughs> First have the tall stems, then move to the shorter. To keep your vase fresh, add sugar to the water. Jane Asher, 1998. <laughs> what about that for an entrance? <laughs> Why's my girlfriend just walked out of your flat, Lee? I hope you're not up to anything, you scoundrel. Don't be silly. I was too busy shagging your sister. <laughs> I'm on my way back from a club with the works night out. It's quite a rough place, actually. Although it didn't stop us having a raucous night. Raucous night? Yep. It's quarter past nine. <laughs> well, I had to leave early. There was no antibacterial hand washing for gents. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Daisy left her coat, by the way. Talking of coats, what are you wearing? You look like two dwarfs with one cinema ticket. <laughs> This is a very practical coat, actually. It's warm, <laughs> it's machine washable, and there's loads of pockets for your bits and... Bobs. If that's your bits and bobs, I can't wait to see your knickknacks. <laughs> sugar. I don't think it's sugar. No. <laughs> I think the phrase you're looking for is, oh, shh, class A drugs. <laughs> this isn't mine. I must have picked up the wrong coat. How could you pick up the wrong coat, you idiot? You think he feels stupid? What about the Colombian drugs baron walking around in Tim's cagoule? <laughs> what am I going to do? Flush it down the toilet. <laughs> it's an extra large. It'll never get past the u bend <laughs> The drugs. Yeah. They belong to someone. What if he tracks me down? How would he track That's you down? That's true. Because he's got my coat. So what? It's not like you've... Sold that is definitely a quantity that... they would hurt someone for destroying or misplacing. Yeah. They belong to someone. What if he tracks me down? How would he track you down? Because he's got my coat. So what? It's not like you've sewn a little name tag in your collar. <laughs> you have sewn a little name tag in your collar. OK, so he knows Timothy Adams has got his drugs. There must be a hundred Timothy Adams in London. Not Timothy Gladstone Adams. <laughs> you put your middle name in your you coat. You sew your middle name into your coat. <laughs> yes. Why? Because there must be a hundred Timothy Adams in London. <laughs> I'm going to miss this train. Ring the police. Now. Hello, baby. What are you doing? Doing what Lucy said. If you report this to the police, some drug dealer's going to give you the kind of shoes that end up sending you to the bottom of a lake. Crocs. <laughs> 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 Very good. Look, maybe it isn't even drugs. Oi, what is it? 
Get in the bed. Oh, it could be anything. It could be washing powder. Yeah. Washing powder. Right, if it's washing powder, why is it in a little sandwich bag like that? He popped in for a pint after a long day doing the Daz doorstep challenge. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I'm proving to you it's not washing powder. Testing it. Yeah. What are you doing that for? To see if it's good shit. <laughs> That's going to take ages. <laughs> oh, my God, I just got that. Tim, just go home. Fuck it. We'll the, let the men deal with this, yeah? It's, t it's way past the little boy's bedtime. Jesus H. Christ. I mean the drugs. <laughs> you haven't got a clue what you're doing, have you? Not really. <laughs> I just saw them do it on Scarface. I thought I'd try it. Glad you haven't been watching Brobat Mountain. <laughs> well, you try it then, smart ass. Come on, this is your problem, not mine. <laughs> Put it on your gums. If it makes your gums numb, then... It... Yeah. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> it's my own fault. I knew I shouldn't have let him watch the railway children. What's wrong with the railway children? That was filmed down the road from me. That was. Oh, Meant train spotting. For fuck's sake. <laughs> Oh, hang on. Oh, yeah, that's odd. <laughs> Ooh, see, that is definitely not bowl three and one. <laughs> bowl three and one. Might be biological, I'm allergic to that. <laughs> Tim, it's not washing powder, it's drugs. And you need to find this bloke and get it back to him quickly. Now, what do you know about him? I don't know. There's no name tag. <laughs> really? You really? Know... The drug dealer doesn't have his name sewn into the collar of his coat? Really, Tim? Say, what about mittens on string? <laughs> oh, yeah, laugh it up. But you weren't laughing when we went ice skating and I was the only one without frozen fingers. Oh, I was laughing. <laughs> yeah. And not just me, the whole of the stag party. <laughs> no way. Hang on. I've got a business card. Larry the Butcher Stubbs. You're not the only one with an unusual middle name. <laughs> Get back to that nightclub now. OK. But will you come with me? No! The adoption agency never told me you were going to be this needy. <laughs> You know this is wrong, don't you? This stuff shouldn't be back on the streets. I've seen what drugs can do to people. No, you haven't. No, you haven't. I have, actually. It was a long time ago, back in the 80s. Don't say when you were at school someone started sniffing a Pritt stick or something and then... Yeah. <laughs> I was still at school. There was a boy, a popular boy, had lots of friends, enjoyed sport. Someone offered him some drugs Bullshit. at a party and he thought, well, what's the harm? Why not? Well, within weeks, he was a wreck, scrambling around on the floor, looking for the last bits of his fix. Sorry, Tim. <laughs> Can I just interrupt? Yes. Are you talking about Zamo from Grange Hill? <laughs> I've never seen it, so that just went right off my head. It's a very convincing portrayal, actually. <laughs> <laughs> mm, that was a good cup of tea. Well... Here it is. I know. What do you mean about rough? I know his are, though. Don't worry. These are old school gentleman villains. If you want us to fit in, imagine you're Reggie and I'm Ronnie. Which one, Barker or Corbett? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, then. <laughs> Can you do it? Please. No! If you do, I'll never ever forget it. Well, you won't have a choice, will you? You'd be reminded every time you look at my brutally disfigured face. <laughs> well, that hasn't affected our relationship so far. <laughs> Just let me make it clear, I would never do this for any friend. Never. It's your mistake, you saw it out. It's not my fault you're a shit shit house. Excuse me. This is a bit awkward, but the thing is, my mate, the dippy looking geezer with the bad dress sets. Apart from his coat. <laughs> which is lovely. I was gonna say it's a lovely coat. <laughs> anyway, the thing is, he accidentally took your coat by mistake, and we found your shit in his pocket. <laughs> we didn't touch it. I never touch another man's shit. <laughs> we rubbed him in our gums just to check it was shit. <laughs> if you're following any of this, just stare at me really menacingly. <laughs> Great. 
So why don't we uh, swap back? Yeah? Now I'm done. Can I just say, if it turns out that this isn't the right person, he's just wearing the same coat, I am going to lose my shit, funnily enough. <laughs> Perfect. And I'm warning you, if you've touched any of Timothy's fruit polos, he'll hunt you down and slice you like a carrot. Oh, fruit polos! I miss them. Thanks. Is it... Is the reason why I haven't seen them for years because they were discontinued or they just don't sell them as much anymore? Are they done? Because I never actually found out. Because if they're not, I'm ordering some online. Next time you want me to do you a favour, keep it simple. Just ask me to steal Osama Bin Laden's nice white turban and replace it with a giant meringue. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> I knew it! This isn't my coat. If that's not yours, then that one's not his. Wait. That means this bloke is going to be a big bloke then, isn't it? Oh, no. Thanks for the free dogs, you pair of muppets. <laughs> Hold on a minute. I just saw something then in the subtitles. This is my coat. If that's not yours, then that one's not his. Thanks for the free dogs, you pair of muffins. Never mind. <laughs> oh, no. <gasps> Bloody hell. Was there a sale on at House of Gangster? <laughs> where's, where's the gear? Who the hell is Timothy Gladstone Adams? <laughs> It's, uh, what's his name out of EastEnders? He was Heather Trott's boyfriend while she, when she was murdered. What was his name? Was it Ricky? I can't remember. If anyone, rem I'll probably Google it after if I remember, but if anybody knows, comment, it, comment down below anyway. Well, I've finished with me Reggie act. You better start doing your Ronnie impression and quick. <laughs> it's good night from me. It's, it's good, good night, night from, from him. him. Go! <laughs> 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 They're in deep trouble. Oh dear. <laughs> Cup of tea. <laughs> coffee! I can do coffee! <laughs> I was hoping I'd wake up this whole thing would just have been a bad dream. Oh no, we'd have known if it was one of your dreams, Tim. We'd have ended up being attacked by Patricia Hodge with a tash on. <laughs> Why did I ever tell you about that? <laughs> We're in trouble, aren't we, Lee? Yes, we now being the operative word. Yeah. I can't believe you gave the drugs to the wrong person. Don't start blaming me for this. It's not me that yeah. came on for a night out with the wrong clothes on. It's good job you didn't go to a drag club last night. Otherwise, I'd be sat here being entertained by Timothy Titflaps and her disturbingly unsightly bulge. <laughs> <laughs> Timothy Titflaps! <laughs> Will you stop going on about my dreams? <laughs> I didn't tell you about that one, did I? No. <laughs> Look, as long as we're here, we're safe. He doesn't know my name or where I live, so can we just get dressed, calm down, and stop overreacting? <laughs> <laughs> OK. <laughs> but that scared the relocated to Narnia. <laughs> what are you doing? Me and Daisy to explain everything. Oh, no, you don't. We haven't got time to start explaining everything to Daisy. What do you mean, not enough time? Because in six billion years, the sun's going to explode. Nah. <laughs> It is vitally important that nobody knows you're here. Blimey, it's all kicking off in Narnia. <laughs> Good one. Good one. Oh, Daisy. Thank God it's you. Who are you expecting? Anne Frank. <laughs> Well, the traffic's terrible. Maybe she's running a bit late. <laughs> um, I'm looking for Tim. I haven't seen him. Oh, don't lie to me, Lee. I'm not stupid. You've seen him loads of times. He's about six foot. He's got blonde hair. <laughs> I mean, I haven't seen him lately. There is something very strange going on here. <laughs> well, there isn't. So why is there a wardrobe jammed up against the door? Feng Shui. <laughs> Yes, organising your furniture to keep out unhelpful negative energy. Does it work? No. No! <laughs> well, I'll get straight to the point. I know that you and Tim are taking drugs. Why would you possibly think that? The way you've been behaving. Give me one example. 
All right, they're acting all nervous and twitchy. And you saw them... All right, two examples. Doing something right, with two. Them. You're hiding behind your wardrobe. Three examples. <laughs> All right, three. I came round yesterday and saw you both taking drugs. <laughs> you do know most people would have had that as number one, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> we weren't taking drugs. Well, you know what they say about denial, Lee. It isn't just a river in France. <laughs> what? I saw you both rubbing powder into your guts. <laughs> That was to test to see if it was washing powder. I wasn't born yesterday, Lee, to test if something was... Are you sure? <laughs> washing powder, you do something else. Like what? I don't know, like putting it in your eyes to see if it made you cry bubbles. <laughs> Tell me the truth or I'm going to the police. No comment. Why? Because Tim didn't come home last night and his phone switched off. And he only does that during Midsummer Murders. <laughs> Promise me you won't go to the police. Only if you tell me the truth. All right, look, Tim stayed here last night and he's fine. And we weren't taking drugs the other day, we were just... Experimenting? Yeah, well, I had a friend who experimented by smoking marijuana, thought it was harmless, but they were on a slippery slope and they learned a hard lesson. What? Don't get wasted at the top of a slippery slope. Oh, my God. <laughs> Broke both his ankles. <laughs> Lost a snowball. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm going to go, but I want you to both look at this. It's a oh leaflet my. the drugs helpline. Really? Um, oh, yeah, um, excuse the holes. It's the nail gun. It keeps going off unexpectedly. <laughs> <laughs> and, Lee, do me a favour, yeah? Next time I ask you a straight question, don't trip me like an idiot. <laughs> I love Daisy. She's brilliant. Is it safe? <laughs> and what were you going to do with that? Stick it up his backside and sing Ladle Vice? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't him, but we might not be so lucky next time. <sighs> what you need to do is buy some more cocaine and give it back to your butcher friend, and quick. What are you talking about cocaine? It was heroin. Was it? <laughs> Wasn't it? <laughs> I don't know. There's a bit left from yesterday. Try some. What? Go on. If you get all hyper and start talking quickly, we'll know it's cocaine. Yeah, and if I lose four stones, start stealing DVD players and become a male prostitute, we'll know it's heroin. <laughs> <laughs> what we need to do is find an expert to identify it and find out what it's worth. Brilliant. Let's ring Fiona Bruce and see if she's still presenting the Narcotics Roadshow. Narcotics <laughs> Roadshow! <laughs> yeah, or Dick. Who's seen that picture of Fiona Bruce? It, some, it does the rounds on Facebook every now and then. It's a picture of just before they're about to, you know, start filming again, and she's going like that on her, on her hand, like sniffing a line of coke. <laughs> Funnily enough, she hasn't commented on it. Hmm, I wonder why. <laughs> but if you've seen that picture, it, it it's weird, isn't it? It's like, yeah, there's nothing else you can interpret that as. Like, there's only one thing. Why, why is she going like that on her own? <laughs> Let's ring Fiona Bruce and see if she's still presenting the Narcotics Roadshow. <laughs> yeah, or Dickinson's Real Deal. <laughs> <laughs> no. Crack in the Attic. Crack in the Attic! <laughs> this is excellent use of our time. Let's think of some more drug puns about TV programmes, shall we? That'll solve everything. Yeah, please do. I know. Top Gear. Shut it. Ah, that's an old one, that. We'll phone this lot. It's a support group, it's not. <laughs> Thanks for coming around so quickly. Oh, they're so That's middle okay. class. That's why we're here, to chat, honestly and frankly. She thinks he's. I agree. It is very important to be honest in these situations. So, what exactly did you find in your son's bedroom? Oh, <laughs> come on. <laughs> I found this under his mattress. You can imagine how shocked I was. I was only looking for pornography. <laughs> and why was that? The internet's down. <laughs> You're right, it's not a time for jokes. No. So, what exactly do you know about drugs? Nothing. When I was his age, we couldn't even afford them. 
If I wanted to get high, I used to stand outside the gates of the glue factory. <laughs> and did that work? Yeah. There was a bloke there selling cheap cannabis. <laughs> I say cheap. Not that I know what cannabis costs, because I don't take drugs. And neither does he. Really? Oh. And this is? Tim. I'm a friend of the fact. Unless you said we were a gay couple. <laughs> Why would I say that? I'm a friend of the family. <laughs> Just give the well, game away, what Tim. It's all right. It's definitely a banned substance. It's cocaine. And uh, where could he be possibly getting this stuff from? Well, in this day and age, it's all too easy to obtain drugs. Good. God, is it? <laughs> He's probably getting it off the street. Really? Street I, thought he was, I thought he were bringing a bag home from local shop with him. Goes better for sat now. Well, I know there's a group of dealers operating on Seton Road at the moment. Great. Seton Road. <laughs> Let's write it down. With two E's. That can't be earning them much money. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. How much would he be paying for this stuff? Oh, well, for an amount like that, probably £60. And how about for an amount, say, like that? Oh, well, that's a serious quantity. <laughs> about £8,000. <laughs> Don't we get a discount for bulk? Do you get a discount? He means my son. Uh, this son of yours? <laughs> yes. What's his name? George. <laughs> <laughs> George? Yep. Same as the make of my T-shirt? <laughs> yep. <laughs> May I have a word with him? He's out. Where? Don't say Asda. Uh, Asda. <laughs> oh, I notice you don't have any photos of your son, George at Asda. <laughs> no, you see, he doesn't photograph very well. He's, um... He's, um... A vampire. <laughs> what? Oh, no, hang on, that's reflections, isn't it? <laughs> He's a red Indian, that's it. He believes the camera steals his soul, so he can never be photographed. What? I'm not exactly sure what's going on here, but I think we'll leave it there for now. I'm going to go and speak to some of my colleagues. I'll be in touch. Georgia Asda. <laughs> well, it's better than Big Chief Nosferatu, the Native American smackhead vampire. <laughs> Why well, she goes to the police? Stop panicking. Got the information you want. It's cocaine. You get it from Seaton Road. It costs about eight thousand pounds. Just get it done and quick. George, where is it? At Asda. Blind. <laughs> <laughs> it's bad enough having to empty my savings account, but can you at least stop holding it like you're advertising a Sun Bingo promotion? <laughs> <laughs> Just act cool. It's all about bravado and confidence. These are our streets. We know every alleyway like the back of our hands. Go right on the roundabout. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe lose the sat now. And the National Trust membership sticker. <laughs> and the Rolf Harris CD. And the Tartan Trap. Just lose the Rolf Harris CD altogether. Jesus Christ. Have a run. <laughs> right, pimp my ride, why don't you? You watch Pimp My Ride. I record it and watch it backwards. I love seeing those vulgar cars restored to their original condition. <laughs> I love this show. I bloody love it. Just got Straight. better. I don't even have to get out of the car. <laughs> Hello, welcome to the Class A's drive through <laughs> Big Mac, chicken nuggets and fries, please. <laughs> Just trying to lighten the mood. We normally get our drugs from Boots. I don't sell drugs. Really? I beg your pardon? That would be illegal, officer. Do you really think if we were coppers, I'd let him open his mouth? <laughs> well, you don't look like the type of geezers who buy drugs. I was taking drugs before you were born. Same as your mum, by the look of it. <laughs> I've done them all, me, mate. E's, G's, B's, knees. B's, knees! <laughs> knees! Snap, crackle, poppers. Snap, crackle, poppers! <laughs> Hobnobs, crystal Hob tips, knobs. acid drops, crystal tips, reefers, roofers, <laughs> joiners, speed, speed two, speed two. Charlie, Brown, 
Snoopy, Droopy, Fred Bassett, Fred Bassett. Uppers, Downers, Frowners, Frosties. 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 Yeah, the shit is Frosties. 50% crack, 50% tiger's foot. <laughs> yeah, brrr. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Don't tell me you've never heard of Frosties. Call yourself a dealer. Yeah. Yeah, of course I've heard of them. Is that what you're after? Speed to! <laughs> not today, thanks. Just approximately half a kilo of powdered cocaine if it's not too much trouble, young man. <laughs> right here. It's like watching an episode of The Wire starring Derek Nimmo. <laughs> Don't get it. Speed to. <laughs> Lee, I think we're being followed. Don't be stupid. I think it's an unmarked police car. How do you know? It doesn't say police on it anywhere. <laughs> Actually, it could be the butcher. By that logic, that could be any car behind you or otherwise. One of those gangster cars with a load of weapons and hookers and a jacuzzi in the back. What kind of car is it? Powder blue 1.4 Nissan Micro. <laughs> what? You think I watch too many gangster films? No. no. I don't think you watch enough. Yeah! <laughs> oh, seriously, there is someone following us. No, there isn't. Maybe I should pull over. Man what? Up. Put your foot down. All right, I insist we pull over. <laughs> Just step on it now. Dickhead. Okay, let's do this. Sit back, tighten your seatbelt, and let's crank that stereo good and loud. Two little boys had two little toys. When we were two little boys. Yeah, that song's taken on a whole different meaning since. That is a Rolf Harris song, right? Yeah. We lost him. You're right. I'm fine. It's just that bit where he goes back for him on the horse. <laughs> it always gets me. Well, this is the address. Larry Stubbs, butcher and polterer. Well, there's a glimmer of hope. Maybe he'll just polter us. <laughs> Come on. If you're lucky. Oh, he's Larry. my God, he's the a fucking psycho. Well, well, well. Well, you well, You must be well. Timothy Gladstone Adams. You've got balls showing up here. Unless, of course, you've brought along some dope. Hello. <laughs> well played. <laughs> I've got something of yours. Nice place you got here. <laughs> yeah. If I was a cow, this is where I'd want to be butchered. <laughs> Honestly, it was a complete accident. You see, I took your coat home thinking it was mine. Shh. Be a good little boy. You don't want Daddy to have to give you a slap, do you? You're not going to tell my dad, are you? Oh, my God! <laughs> what the hell is this? It's your drugs. This is washing powder. What? Come on, you can't tell that just by looking at it. What the fuck? Okay, that does look a little bit like washing powder. Wait, why didn't they check it? Yeah, I use that stuff. It's pretty good shit. <laughs> oh, look. And you've even written me a little note. Have we? Wash your mouth out, tosser. No one slags off my mum. I don't remember slagging off your mum. No. You didn't. Have you didn't. Any idea what I'm gonna do to you. Oh dear. You sons of bitches. Well, strictly speaking, you're now slagging off both. <laughs> Not now. <to. laughs> right. He has no survival instinct whatsoever, does he, Tim? He's just, yeah. Oh you my God. It dares. Just remember, there's two of us and only one of you. So if you want to rumble, bring on the thunder, little man, and see how far it gets you. <laughs> what does that kind of thing work when Steven Seagal says it? <laughs> because you're not Steven Seagal, <laughs> probably. Come on, mate, let us go, please. Probably has something to do with it. Good boys. I 
I've got a reputation to think of. This is my manner, see? I don't know where your manners are. He did say please. <laughs> he means manner, as into the manner born, you pillock. You pillock? <laughs> That's right, and I'll f with that at me key. Does Peter Bowles know about this? <laughs> did you hear that? See, I said we're being followed. It must be the police. Oh, thank God. What are you talking about? I'll tell you what we're talking about, Sunshine. We're talking about old Bill walking through that door and serving you up some cold porridge. Hello. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh, yeah. How the blueness and micro. I could kick myself. Hi. I'm yeah. Daisy. You could if you were on your feet. <laughs> Bit rude. <laughs> I wanted to know if your involvement with drugs was getting out of hand. Well, Tim, is it getting out of hand? You come here on your own, sweetheart. Yes. Yeah, but I bet you found the. I can't. I cannot. Just, I just can't with Daisy. Oh my God. Seriously debating. Who's dumber, her or Trigger from Only Fools and Horses? Because it's getting to the point where I'm struggling to choose between the two. Please and told them where we are, didn't you? But when I came round to your flat, you made me promise. Yeah, never mind that, Daisy. Just remember, <laughs> if you tell us that you did phone the police and that they're on their way, this man will have no choice but to let us all go home. Yeah. Do you understand? Yes. That is what will happen if you tell us you phoned the police. Right. Now. Did you phone the police? No. <laughs> I knew it! Looks like I'm gonna need another meat hook. Freeze! <laughs> I think you should untie them, don't you? I'll tell you what I think. I think a nice girl like you doesn't know how to work one of those. Actually, that is very true. That's why I was returning it. It keeps going off accidentally. <laughs> Which ones did I do? <laughs> Never mind him, Daisy, just on tires. Oh, yeah. Which ones did I do? Oh! 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 <laughs> whoops. Whoops. <laughs> Don't wear me on whoops. <laughs> oh, can't believe the police let you off. <laughs> Didn't have any choice. It's not against the law to spend £8,000 on a box of washing powder. No, it's not! <laughs> Ask anyone that shops at Waitrose. <laughs> and what about Daisy? <sighs> she got uh... off with a caution. At first they thought she was the brains behind the whole operation, but... <laughs> then she opened her mouth and talked. Luckily, she opened her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you know if you've got... The exact words! <laughs> to the police at the start, all of this would have been avoided. Oh, it's easy to be wise after the event. I told you to do that two days ago, and Daisy said it to you again yesterday. Oh, it's easy to be wise before... Wait. Oh, yeah, I, so, I'm sorry, I couldn't remember Lucy being there when they found the bag in the court. Oh, so, right, f fair enough, okay. I, I just couldn't remember that far back. I thought it was just uh, Daisy there. The event. I told you to do that two days ago, and Daisy said it to you again yesterday. Oh, it's easy to be wise before, during, and after the event. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, of course they let us off. The police knew we never meant to steal those drugs. I'm many things, Lucy, but if there's one thing I'm not, it's a thief. Cup of tea. Going out, not staying in. <sighs> oh, God. Right, that's the end. Oh, wow. What an episode. Bit of a running theme, this, over the last uh, 24 hours or so, because last night I did the first episode of the second series of Keeping Up Appearances, and that was uh, absolutely hilarious. You know, it was a brilliant episode. And this is the first episode of a new series of Not Going Out, and this was hilarious too. Yeah, really enjoyed it. Um, <laughs> it's just... <laughs> got into trouble with uh, a gangster. 
will think twice now before I pick Tim. Hopefully, he, Tim will think twice before picking up a coat and taking it home. Um. Yeah, very good episode. Really enjoyed that. So that that uh, officially kicks off series four of not going out. I've done three series of this already, which is pretty amazing. As a, a, a series opener, first episode of a new series, it was very good, really enjoyed it, thought it was very, very funny, um, good to see um, the actor playing the uh, the dealer, the gangster guy, plays a lot of um, characters like that. Ricky Grover, that's it. I knew that Ricky had something to do with his name, whether it was the name of his character in his senders or the name of the actor. Yeah. Who did he play in his senders? I've got to find out. Andrew Cotton. Andrew, yeah, I remember. I can literally picture Heather saying, Andrew, Andrew, in, in my head. Now. Yeah, yeah, it was a good character. That was a long time ago, wasn't it? 2011. How long ago it was? When uh, Ben killed Heather. Yeah. I miss that era of EastEnders. They were a nice couple. Him and her and Andrew. So, um, <clears throat> that's the end. So thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, I'll see you all in the next one. So thanks for watching. If you're watching this on YouTube, then come and join the Patreon to get access to this series early. It is one of the cheap Super 6. So you can get access to this for $1 a month and five other series. Um, plus many more. Uh, there's other series available one dollar a month but the main six that i advertise are the ones that are the most popular at the moment which is bad education not going out father ted blackadder the young i don't know why afterlife is part of that actually because no one's really bothering with that bottom was one of the soup one of the cheap six but i finished that ages ago i need to update it actually put a different series in I'm starting some new series over the course of the summer, so expect a new member of the Cheap Six to, to be added pretty soon. But yeah, Afterlife is available. Uh, but there's Black Out of Father Ted, Not Going Out, Bad Education, The Young Ones, of course. That goes on Patreon first, and YouTube has to wait for it. So consider joining to get early access to all of those, plus Patreon exclusives, Limmy's Show, Clarkson's Farm, uh, The Good Doctor, Mr Bean when I start it. I know I've already seen Mr Bean, but... It's going to be one of those series that, because I haven't watched it all the way through since I was young, so it's going to be one of them. Cheap Skates, that needs changing because I finished that series months ago. Uh, Two Doors Down, you know, that's an early access series. And everything that I've done, series that I've finished, you can get all of them on Patreon without the copyright text and background music, so that's another reason why it's worth it. Um, but yeah, that's it. So thanks everybody for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a very nice evening. Thank you. Good night.